You you said that um, you know sometimes you you don't realize sort of why you're writing something, and in the book you talk about me search and how we tend to gravitate towards the things that touch us, but we're not quite sure maybe why. And in the introduction to this book, you write about how your parents experienced racism and uh, immigration and poverty and, and never really talked about the trauma that they experienced. And it reminded me so much of my own father who his family never talked about the Holocaust and how children of Holocaust survivors often feel like there's something in the air in the house and nobody's talking about it. So can you, can you talk about, first of all, can you tell your parents' story just briefly and how they're not talking about it impacted you? So there is a lot of trauma in my parents' history and in some ways, I know I write it, I think I opened a book with that. Like every yeah. family carries some history of trauma, which is so interesting, you know, because when I presented some pieces of this book, at the beginning, people were like, trauma is not me. I don't have trauma in my family. But then as we start talking about it, you realize loss, who doesn't have loss, early loss, death of parents, death of siblings. My, my parents both lost their siblings when they were young. Um, my mother lost her brother when she was um, 10 years old. My brother, my father lost two siblings. There is immigration, of course. Uh, there is a lot of racism. There is poverty that my parents, both my parents grew up in. In the book, I say, you know, I don't think they ever realized, right? In the reflection and retrospect for them to say, actually, both of them struggled with the um, illnesses when they were kids and almost died both of them and they never put it together right so my parents really presented their history in the same way that you were talking about your parents uh, they were optimistic they are optimistic they never burdened us with unhappiness or with their trauma and of course they didn't want to remember their trauma in some ways it's, it wasn't just to protect us from trauma or even to define themselves Right? They didn't want this trauma to define them. So my mother always told us that if that we shouldn't talk about unpleasant things, right? You could you could see how a psychoanalyst is born, right? It's like don't talk about unpleasant things and don't, you know, I always think about it like parents when parents tell their kids, don't cross your eyes, it's gonna be stuck. <laughs> right? It's like, don't do that. It's gonna right, it's going to stuck and you we will never be able to get rid of it. And then the ghosts are gonna haunt you as if they don't haunt you anyway. Right. So I think to some degree this is what the book is about. Because as a child, you're left with the gaps and with what is not said. And and the book is really about the omission, about the unspeakable and also the unformulated, not only the unspeakable, right? Right.